So I'm gonna show you how to um, do a while loop and um, create, you know, odd and even. Never mind that. So first of all, create a PHP. Count to zero. So define count. Money sign count equals zero. While count less than or equal to ten, etc. And then if count modulo two equals to one, it'll count one, two, three, and then the count plus 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 the increment, which is the equivalent of same as that. So if you put it two, it'll be even. Control S. Back to zero, sorry. Back to even. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. We get one will be odd. Sorry. All right. Let's uh. Let's calm this out. All right. Calm it out. Let's do this JavaScript. Uh, so it's gonna be bar count equals to zero, semicolon. Well, count. That's how I call that. I'll count is less than equal to less than equal to zero. It's very similar language, and then. We're gonna go. Sorry, count to ten. Do ten. Um, let's see, echo. I just want that echoes document right. Sorry, document right. Count. Count plus plus semicolon. Right here. And then we're concat. Like that. See? Same thing. Um, let's do the if. So if count modulo two zero. If it's even, it'll be zero because uh, it's remainder. If the remainder is zero, then it should be even. We're gonna get bring calc. I'll give you an example. So four divided by two. Have zero remainder. So if five divided by two has a remainder, like one or something. They don't be an odd. So five is an odd. So let's Oops. Sorry. There we go. Equals equals. Let me try one more equal. Let's see if that works. Same. So this remainder one will be odd. That's the same thing. So it, anything you can do in PHP, you can probably do in JavaScript. Since I did it in both ways, and you see the similarities in the languages, I see no difference <laughs> except for um the var and this is the money sign. I see no difference. So comment this out. Uncomment this. 
it's basically the same thing. So, yeah. I uh, I really don't see a difference. Except PHP is um inline scripting, so you can mangle your HTML with PHP, so it will be in like the same places. While JavaScript can be like outside, and then you can like create a ID or a class to like shove it in there. But if you know Angular JS, then you can do like that, like inline. Something like that, like a variable, or spit out anywhere. But you also can make a dynamic CSS file with PHP. You can also create a JSON file with PHP. So yeah, but yeah, it's it's really hard for me to tie front end with back end because you can do back end with JavaScript now too, thanks to Node and yeah, it's how you use your tools since I did it both ways yeah I did a while loop <laughs> I'm done